Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Open TTD episode 13. In the previous episode, we had a few oopsies, such as those missing signals at the top of Backbone Hub 2, and up at the factory here, I cloned the wrong train. I cloned a random oil train instead of the goods pickup trains. So let's make sure we get the right ones this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if it was eight before, but that's how many I'm cloning now. And let's see if we can find those oil trains. So I don't think it was those two. It was more than that. So I guess I guess I made five last time. Um, they're heading towards Dunway North. If we look at the station list, that is the first station. Um, and we don't need those trains, but this is that one station. It's fine if trains back up here, so we'll just leave those trains for now. Now, the, the thing I want to do, or start out with, uh, during this episode, is upgrade our trains. We have, we've had this new medium class vehicle for quite some time now, for five years or so. Let's get to upgrading. So the last time we upgraded trains, there were some problems at the goods pickup. I sort of jerry-rigged the depot into the overflow here, so the orders work that, um, when the trains need to upgrade, they'll head towards this waypoint here and end up in the overflow system. So it's sort of combined in that way. But the problem was, trains that were trying to leave the overflow were getting blocked by trains entering the overflow. Um, so then all the trains just ended up stuck in the depot. So the way to fix that, or at least the way I'm going to try, is by getting rid of this sort of loop. So loops are generally bad because trains can block themselves. Um, since we have the depot, they just all ended up in the depot, though. What I'm going to do is we'll have the um, the entrance, or I guess the exit from the overflow be a little further along the, the track. So doing it like this will eliminate the loop that we had right here. Now, we also want to make sure that the waiting bays for the overflow are still okay, so... This will be five, six, plus four there. So that's one waiting bay. We can mark that with an entry signal. And then now this waiting bay is too short, so it's only nine. So I'm going to fix that. Um, we can try moving this depot down, I think. If we do it like this. Now we have one extra square there. So ten will be right there. We have the signal there. And I guess we can just connect up the priority like that. So the last thing to do is add a priority here so that overflow trains don't just go out whenever they feel like. So we can do an overflow backwards. Um, but actually, there's a, there's a bit of a problem. Um, if a train exits the overflow at the same time that a train starts to enter this waiting bay, those trains will block each other. So one train will be right here. The next train will be stuck here and it'll block the overflow. So the overflow could jam up that way. So we also need to, or what I'll do is have this train wait for a gap up here as well. So if two trains enter at the same time, they'll just take their respective waiting bays. Um, so we can chain this back and then chain it forward again, but there's not really room to do that here. So actually, let's move this entrance a little bit further ahead. Alright, well that screws up the waiting bay counts again, but, well, we can count them again, let's see. So 7, 8, plus 4, it'll end on the bridge again, so there's no problem there. So we'll chain this backwards a little bit with combo signals, and then we can use, let's see, Chain it back again with another combo signal. And then over here we can do a tunnel forward. Chain it forward with combo signals. And then just check this waiting bay. Something like that. And just have an exit signal there. Okay. Haven't played in a while, so my muscle memory is a bit off. But that should be good. So now trains will not block each other when they're entering the overflow. So this whole convoluted refit system will work 
And this is getting to become quite a mess up here, so at some point we're probably going to have to demolish everything and rebuild it, maybe in the near future. And there's a lot of goods waiting here, so let's, well, let's first, um, let's first upgrade the trains. So we go to replace vehicles, still one train that hasn't upgraded, not sure where that is, but let's upgrade these trains, start replacing vehicles. Then we can clone the new train. So we'll get a goods train. It doesn't automatically upgrade for some reason, so I just let it go out and then send it back to the depot, and then it upgrades itself. And we'll clone a bunch of these. I mean, we can't really clone too many since we have an overflow, and we might as well use that. Yeah, what the heck. It's like seven or eight. And there we go. Our trains, you can see on these terminus stations, are entering the depot, getting upgraded. So we'll get some medium vehicles finally. So I went to go find the one unupgraded train and it's one of these feeder trains here and it seems it just never had the chance to enter this depot. So I'm going to, the depot's not really in a good place since if they go into the right platform, they'll never be able to upgrade. So I'm gonna move the depot over here. And get that signal out of the way. The only reason we needed that signal is due to trains coming out of the depot like that one. But that won't be a problem anymore. Let's take a look at how the refit is going. Uh, if we look at the trains, um, we can see we have about one-tenth of the trains, or I guess, yeah, one-tenth of the trains replaced so far. And no jam here. Um, but there are some trains that are stuck in this depot. So I'm, we have this priority here, which prevents trains from exiting the depot when there's trains on this entrance track. So I'm just going to temporarily remove that so some trains can get out and there's a lot of cargo waiting over here. So it, it really seems like uh, maybe using this um, overflow as a refit, or excuse me, a replacement system really doesn't work that well. But, uh, you know, it was worth trying. Meanwhile, um, back up at the factory, it does turn out that eight trains was too many. Uh, there's still three coming out of the depot here. So we need a proper overflow. So let's get that two-way block signal down, demolish these buildings. Um, going to have to deal with that one house still so we can plant some trees for the local authority. So we can have, let's see, we can have a split off like right here. Um, need 10 tiles for the reverser. So we can just do it like that. And let's, I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have uh, built those tracks. I should have demolished that house first, but let's plant some trees for Nartstin. All right, so we got that up to good. So we should be able to demolish that now. There we go and put this tunnel in and let this train go. So these trains, even though um, all the primary industry, primary uh, cargo trains are getting blocked from dropping off their stuff at the factory, because this, because we're using BSPI, stockpiling industries, there's still a stockpile of stuff here. So these trains will eventually clear out. It's not a deadlock, but still not good. We can just find a place for a depot Okay, this train doesn't want to turn around. Let's, uh, let's just stop him so he doesn't mess around over there. We'll need a waiting bay over here. So we'll need 10 tiles. This steel mill is a bit in the way. Okay, so five plus another five would put us right there. So we can just put our depot like so. Is that good? Five. I guess that would put us in the depot, so we have to go one further. Okay, so then we can let this train go. Hopefully it'll go the right way now. Yep. And this one can go as well. Connect this up. Um, why did he turn around? Didn't go down the straightaway. That's interesting. Maybe I'll put this on this side. That's... Huh. Okay, weird. Connect this up. Need a priority backwards. 
and then I guess we'll go one further. And then this priority needs to check the waiting bay over here, which will be a bit far to check. We can use a nice long tunnel, I guess. That's going to cost us 14, not, not actually that much. And we'll re-adjust the land there. And that should mostly be good. Turn this into a um, entry signal. Let me see, how do I do this usually? It's been a while. I guess we want this one to wait here for either of these options. And that should be all right. Okay, we can have those trains keep moving now. It seems like this ought to be a doubled track as well. Uh, right now it's a single track. We have it merge into a single track and then it splits again into two tracks for the drop and the pick, off or, uh, pick up respectively. So we can fix that, but let's see if uh, that overflow is enough. Seems like removing that prio did help empty out the depot and we can check on how the replacement progress is going. And uh, looks like we have about one third of the trains replaced now. But to speed that, e uh, speed that up even more, I'm gonna go to the drop off station for these goods. And we can put, let's see, down here. We can put depots here as well for the trains to, uh, to upgrade. So we'll do the same thing with waypoints and a reverser. So we can have a split off like this. Um, let's see, join these tracks up, I guess. Doesn't need to go out that far actually. So like that is fine. And we can have a set of two reversers out in this direction. So that's two plus eight, and then a pair of them over here. So that'll be, let's see, two plus eight as well. And then put the little spurs on the end. And then we can use a path signal here to allow the trains to take both of those uh, reversers at the same time. Then on this track, we'll run this along here connect that up. Maybe you should go a bit further. Um, but what you can do is put in a pair of depots next to each other and use a path signal over here. And that'll let them go into uh, one depot as a train exits the other depot. And we probably want to have 10 tiles of room before we merge over here just to uh, let the trains completely accelerate or completely exit the depot before they try to merge with these other trains. You can see we got quite a jam over here. So this, we're going to need to double up this track over here as our next thing. Okay, get this last bit of track in. For the orders, we'll need a pair of waypoints like before. And I guess we can rename the station to goods drop, waypoints to goods drop refit one, and goods drop refit two. So for the orders, these trains, after they unload at the goods drop, if they don't have to refit, they can jump to the goods pickup approach. So that'll be when, uh, let's see, requires maintenance, is false. If requires maintenance is true, they'll fall through and they can go to the goods drop refit one and refit two. And after they go to that, actually, um, I should put this, I should put this waypoint over here. So the way the orders work, um, it seems is that the trains decide which depot they're going to, uh, when they hit this waypoint. So if I put the waypoint back here, when the trains uh, approach this path signal, they'll already have chosen which depot they wanna go in. So I don't want them to uh, do that. I want them to choose uh, which depot to go in based on uh, if trains are coming out of one depot, they need to take the other depot. So once they hit waypoint, they'll have already chosen because of the path reservation. So I don't know if we actually need two depots in that situation, but Still, um, let's find those orders again. 
So once they uh, hit goods drop refit two, they should go to the nearest depot. I guess they don't need to maintain specifically. Yeah. Um, I'm not actually. Uh, these are not refit. This is goods drop upgrade or something. What did I call it over there? Keep mixing up refit with maintain. I guess maintain and maintain too. We don't actually need maintenance since I have breakdowns off, but uh, the trains will still try to maintain when they're trying to upgrade. So that should be good. I saw there are some other trains from, I guess, the factory, which have a different set of orders, so we'll need to change those as well. Let me find one there. So these trains will have a similar set of orders. Once they go to the goods drop, they should jump to order one if they do not require maintenance. Otherwise, they'll go to our two waypoints and go to the nearest depot. That should be good. Actually, if I remember correctly, we don't want spurs on reversers when we have a path-based signal because the path reservations tend to go on the short spurs rather than the longer straight route, if I remember correctly. But anyway, small issue. We can see the mistakenly cloned oil trains have arrived up here at Dun Dunway North. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's quite a few trains, but not actually a problem as long as they don't back up to the southern main line. But speaking of backups, let's finally continue upgrading or doubling up these tracks so we don't have all this jamming happening right here. And I think we only need to do this one extra segment since a lot of trains are going to the goods drop and we also have all the trains from down south from the uh, steel mill. Just play some tunes, do a bit of a time lapse, let's go.
All right, we can see we've just passed the 100 million pound mark in our finances. And if we check on operating profit, looking good. Been on a plateau for a while, but it looks like we're jumping up. We'll see if it keeps going up or not. And you uh, can see the upgrade system working over here. Now we can also check on the rest of the train, see how we're progressing. Looks like we're about uh, three, three tenths left, seven tenths the way there. So that is going fine, no problems there. Still a bit of traffic it seems on these tracks here though. The um, flat sideline hub is causing some problems. But anyway, now it's time for a new thing, the comment of the day. So I'm gonna start doing this. Uh, let me see, where's the comment? So Dextrian asked, what are some other games you enjoy? Well, besides OpenTTD, I've, you know, in the past few years been playing a lot of League of Legends. Now that's a very different game, different type of game from OpenTTD, but it's good for me because uh, for productivity, as soon as I play one match of League, I don't want to play another one. kind of hate the game. <laughs> but anyway, besides besides those two, the classics, the classic games I played were like SimCity 4, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and uh, I guess The Sims too. Probably my favorite game would be SimCity 4. Such a great game. Really enjoyed building cities back in the day. Still a classic, classic game. And I've used some of the music from the soundtrack in this video, so probably surprised people, hopefully. Surprised some people, people who've played SimCity, hopefully in a good way. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.